Okay, hey guys, um, my name is Mike. I'm a, a carpenter and uh, I have a garage shop as many of you guys do. Um, my problem was I needed to make a raised panel door to match an existing cabinet. That's MDF and I didn't have a jig to make that door with. There's plenty of commercially made jigs out there, but I only had to make two doors and I was on a low budget, so I had to come up with a jig. And this is what I came up with over here. And it's just a simple picture frame jig that the door will set down into, or the soon to be door will set down into. And then I measured the center of my router bit to the fence, or to the to the plate, and that's where I attached my fences. And that's the fence right here, just made out of regular three-quarter inch plywood, and attached down with some screws. I did put a little hole with the Forstner's bait in the center of the jig, or in the back side of the jig, so that you can lift the door out without having to unclamp it from the table. Um, the important part was this MDF frame that holds the door in place really needs to be flush all the way across. And if you don't have it perfectly flush, a couple of simple playing cards in the corners shim it up so that it's very flush and your router will glide easily over that. So this is pretty much the, the frame, the jig itself. It's nice if you can rig up something for your dust collection and or power to hang from the ceiling to keep that stuff out of your way because you'll have to be doing some spinning to get that. So this is what we ended up with. This is the old door that I had to match. And this is the new door that I cut after finding the right router, of course. Putting the edge on it is, is the next step. So I'll go ahead and run a little bit of this, show you guys how to work it. If you have the plunge router, of course, it's real nice. And dust collection helps some. Detail and you end up with the finished product. It seems to work pretty good for the garage shop. <laughs> 